Now we already know we can do something like app get and then go ahead and allow someone to land on a page, maybe a contact page to contact us. But what we haven't looked at is different root types. So in this part, we're going to take a look at an example of building out a very simple form. It's not going to do anything because we're going to look at a more in-depth example, a working example of this later. But we're going to see how we can post through to places. Now, again, what you're probably used to doing if you've not worked with a framework before is having a completely separate file that then posts through to that file. And then you'd probably use things like dollar underscore post and then the data you're trying to access. Now we don't use that within Slim. It's basically conveniently wrapped away for us. So we can just write cleaner code a lot more quickly. So let's take a look at building up a simple contact form. It's not actually gonna be a contact form. It's literally just going to be a, a form on a page with a button. But let's go ahead and uh, render out a view here just to kind of practice. So I'm gonna return this view as we've already seen. We're gonna render out. And again, we need to pull in our request and our response in here as well. And we're going to pass through our response into here and we're going to render out contact.twig. So the idea is that this may be a contact form that we then want to post to another route to then maybe send an email to ourselves, store something in the database, whatever we want to do. So let's come over to our views folder and create this contact.twig file. So let's create this in here and we'll go ahead and create a simple form. We can extend our base layout if we want, but in this example, we'll just keep things super simple. So the action will leave for now. We know that the method is going to be post, and we know that in here we would have some kind of maybe input with a type of text. In this case though, let's just literally create a button with a type of submit, just so we can see that we can press this and send it through. So let's say uh, contact or submit or whatever you wanted to say in there. And let's first of all now go and define out our another route that will actually deal with contacting us. So in this case, rather than doing get, because we're not sending a get request to this, we're sending a post request to maybe even the same URL. It doesn't matter if the URL is the same. If we were to do get contact and post contact, technically these are seen as two different routes. So let's keep the URL the same. Uh, it's always nice to do that just to keep things nice and tidy. And again, we just define out this route in exactly the same way, but this time in here, we would actually go and contact the user. So we can pull in our request and our response. We would need them if we were actually submitting a real form. But just to test this out, let's kill the page here and say contact. Now, in this case, what you would probably actually do is go ahead and contact. So you would maybe send an email to yourself. And what you would then do is you would redirect the user back, maybe with some kind of message to say that something had been sent, or you could redirect them off to the home page with a message, uh, which is typically known as a flash message. For now though, let's keep things super simple just so we can see how this works. Now, in this case, what I would normally do is say, set the name to this as contact. And we could do the same for our get route as well. Again, it's gonna be exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter that we set the same name because we have two different HTTP verbs, get and post. But let's just set a name for this now and that's absolutely fine. Now we know that over in our contact form inside of the action, rather than doing something like contact or something like contact.php, now we can use our helpers to go ahead and generate this for us. So we're gonna say path for contact. So there we go, we have a form that we can submit through. Because it's a post request and we're sending a post request to this, it will go ahead and pick this one up and it will do whatever we do in here. So let's go over to this page over onto contact and let's click this and there we go. We're through to that posted page where we see that died and dumped message just out there. So now that we've seen this example, hopefully that gives you an idea of how easy it is to actually go ahead and submit a form through to a specific page, take an action and then do whatever you want. What we're going to do next though is look at the request object which we've not quite had a look at yet so we're going to see what this involves and we're going to go ahead and actually do something in here with some data that we get through from a form so we're going to leave this up and we're going to modify it in the next part